Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. But before I was, I, you know, before I got into comedy, I was a professional baseball player. I played some uh, minor league baseball. Matter of fact, in uh, 2007, Baseball America named me the number two prospect in all of New Jersey. Number one prospect was a kid named Rick Porcello. He won a World Series with the Red Sox last year. And the number three prospect is a kid named Todd Frazier. He's won a home run derby and plays third base for the Mets. I'm the number two prospect, and I'm telling comedy at a f***ing catering hall on a Saturday. <laughs> so what I'm saying, kids, is work hard and your dreams can come true. And in just two months, Heron sure made his presence known behind the plate and next to it. Racking up 10 homers and 35 RBIs in just 50 games. I think it's been satisfactory. You know, I, I'm, I'm glad I'm able to contribute, you know, to, to some of our wins, but, but I'd like to be able to do more. The Saints, they trailed at 3-2. to two. That was until this man, Gerard Heron, his 10th home run of the year, put the Saints up by a pair, and they would go on to win 6-4. to four. Gerard Heron came to the plate for the Saints, and he crushes one. And Gerard Heron, a two-run blast, and all of a sudden, the Saints came back to take a one-run lead. In the bottom half of the 11th, with the Saints trailing by two, Gerard Heron hit the two-run homer to tie it. It was heartbreak. There's nothing else to say, it was heartbreak. Gerard Heron was living the college baseball dream, being named Division III Player of the Year at the College of New Jersey, and ending his tenure as the school's first and only three-time All-American, only to be overlooked come draft time. It did bother me, it still bothers me, you know, uh, you know, I, I still kind of searching for respect within the uh, within the industry, if you will. And uh, you know, not, there's nothing more you can do than just work hard and uh, and hopefully your numbers start to speak for themselves. Heron, Mulhern, and a three-two lead. Another final. People are home. Ooh. Fly ball left field, pretty well hit. Roberson going back, looking up, and it's gone—a home run. Wow, way up. History. He was a Division Three superstar, New Jersey Player of the Year, uh, All American. Always got overlooked. He I appreciate you guys coming out. Look at how filled this room is, guys. This is awesome. Hey, give it up yourselves. This is sick. You guys fill the room up on a Thursday night. You could have been at home watching the Winter Olympics, like every other white woman on earth. God, the Winter Olympics suck. They do. Is anybody here a fan of the Winter Olympics? Seriously, by, by a show, you are a fan of the Winter Olympics. Really? I, I don't understand the Winter Olympics. I grew up poor, so I don't understand how curling. Listen, listen, listen. Can we talk about curling for a second? Now, I should like curling, right? Because all those athletes look like me. If I am going to be an Olympic athlete and I am going to aspire to a gold medal, curling... <laughs> is really the only chance I have left. I got curling and sumo. That's pretty much it. 